Jeff Heine, Chief Revenue Officer at Novadea. A couple of dimensions, one of which there's a whole pile of legacy platforms in the market that end up carrying a significant amount of cost. So this transformation of the cloud is actually going to help reduce operating costs. Uh, we tend to work within the broker and intermediary market, and there's a significant cost component they have that they can take out and use to fund other parts of their business. The other aspect is there's so much capacity in the insurance market going into the intermediary market, and they're looking to stand up MGAs, programs, and whatnot, and they're going to need the speed and agility of a cloud solution. Plus, it's very data-driven, so it gives them a lot of abilities and flexibility to grow. Augmentation uh, of human capital in the space. There's some other vendors that have talked about augmentation with human. It's not complete replacement. I would actually look at it and say that there's quite a, bits of, quite a few bits of work that folks don't want to do. Just one example is a submission, which is an email and attachments. AI can extract that data, give it to a human to review. Generally, that's information that's not gleaned from a submission. So it's actually going to help try to unlock some of the data that's not being used. So it's going to give folks a lot of advantages in terms of how they underwrite risk, how they look at claims, be transformational that way. Yeah, this may sound very obvious, but actually really being able to get a handle on an account, 360 degree view, it's amazing how many folks don't have that at an account level. And then when you extrapolate up to a portfolio level, they just don't have it. So they're somewhat running blind in terms of how they run their business. So using this data, it's actually, we're gonna be able to help them understand where they can go out and um, make better trades with different carrier partners, um, serve their clients better. There's just a lot that's not used. So I think it's quite fundamental to us, but it's gonna to start to take folks forward in a way they can't do today. Yeah, I just had a presentation on a subject like this, the excess and surplus mines. That's basically higher risks, uh, high, higher and more difficult to place risks. That's growing in double at the rate of property and casualty insurance. That's a huge growth market and this data is sorely needed. One of the examples I used earlier was they need that data to basically say, hey, I can write these risks to their carrier partners and the reinsurers. So it actually is gonna unlock more insurable risks for the market, which is good for the consumer, but also growth for both the brokers and the carrier market as well. I'm gonna give you a, a my, my view is, I, I actually like the opportunities to go network, have opportunities like this to present, but it's the friends that I've made that what you kind of blur the lines between actual friends, work friends, and and, and co former colleagues, it's fun. It's, an, it's kind of like going home in a way. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's actually true.